for you. What's going on? It's your girl Q the Queen here back with another video. Now we are in the middle of the WNBA finals and we're also in the middle of the NBA preseason for the 2024-25 season. So listen, quite honestly, this video is overdue, but I couldn't go another week, I don't think at least, uh, without doing this video. Okay. So <sighs> Proud to say it, proud to say it, we have had a year of what I would believe is one of the strongest years in a while of basketball signatures. So I want to touch on the top three basketball signatures of 2024, and um, we're going to get into it. But first, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're liking the content, hit that like button and if you have any thoughts comments concerns any feedback hit that comment section because me and my royals we talks about it all right top basketball signatures right now or 2024 okay before we get into the meat and potatoes i know some folks are gonna say hardens all right now i would agree I would agree if we were talking about uh, Houston Rockets, Harden, but we talking about Philadelphia 76ers, Brooklyn Nets, LA Clippers, James Harden, the guy that's just trying to fit into a system at this point. We're not talking about cooking up James Harden anymore. So even though Adidas, Adidas knocked it out of the park, with the current hardened silhouette and i'll put the the signature number down in the caption I'm, I'm i'm pushing those to the side i hate to do it because that silhouette is 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 dope that's the best way i can describe the shoe but we got to get it out of here james harden is not that guy anymore could he be still probably but he chose to go in a different route so pushing that over all right also to my country bumpkins out there you might say zions god bless you all right to my to my to my tough as nails guys out there and guys and gals you might say dames but to me i think dons are better so we're gonna put, we're gonna cast both of those to the side because um not enough traction uh not enough not enough allure behind the dame okay <laughs> Not saying Dame hasn't dropped anything interesting, um, but for 2024, we're going to push those to the side. I'm happy to say I have at least one colorway of every shoe that I believe to be confidently believed to be the top basketball signature of 2024. This is also coming from somebody who has never stopped wearing basketball shoes casually and a high percentage of my collection that you see back here is basketball-esque shoes with the current or classic okay through and through it's in my dna this is what i do let's get in so we're gonna go honorary right here <sighs> i like to refer to this particular player's shoe as my new young bull he's my new fave and i cannot wait for his debut his reintroduction to the 24-25 NBA season, but without further ado. The Ja One, okay? We're not talking specific to this colorway, we're talking specific to this silhouette, all right? So some might say this is if Kyrie's and Kobe's had a baby, okay? And I'm, I'm fine with that, I'm cool with that. We do know that Kobe pioneered um the low top basketball sneaker we've seen other players do it before i think gilbert arenas would probably have a say but anyway the jaw one to me ah, super strong silhouette super strong debut silhouette signature for nba players specifically one like jaw and um i hate i hate he got injured because he was about to do some things and show us some things as to why uh he's he's up and coming he, he's going to be talked about for years to come okay we just got to keep him healthy but the jaw one is the honorary top basketball signature of 2024 to me listen i saw both 
NBA and WNBA players wearing multiple different types of colorways of this shoe. So it wasn't just the lack of jaw that made it honorary. It was the frequency of sightings of other basketball players that I wouldn't even say paid homage, but found the shoe functional enough to do what they do in their job professionally in this shoe. Multiple colorways, whether it be, for instance, this Chinese New Year colorway, uh, whether it be an all-star colorway, I think he had good things for this shoe. He just didn't get a chance to play in it. And again, this is why it's honorary, because he didn't get a chance to show and prove in this shoe. I can also say this is also one of the more affordable signature shoes. It came in at retail, I wanna say at $120. So you weren't breaking the bank to grab a Josh shoe, and none of the colorways were hard to get. So it was an accessible shoe, it was an affordable shoe, great colorways, great execution of silhouette. And um, the only thing we were missing was him. That's it, that's it. So again, Ja One honorary top basketball signature shoe. Now we are gonna get into the real meat and potatoes. All right, now we at the point in the video where we're going, we're, we're going straight out genuine rank, okay? We're gonna talk about the same qualifiers we talked about with the Ja One. We're counting down from three, okay? So number three. The Nike Book One, okay? So the Nike Book One, as you all know, <laughs> I was fairly excited about this particular silhouette. Got the colorway that I cared about most. Was looking forward to other colorways, of course. This is if the Field General in the Air Force One had a baby, okay? That's the design of the Book One. Frequency of sightings. Same with the previous shoe. Multiple NBA players wore colorways, multiple WNBA players wore colorways, and I'm talking on court. This shoe also is a very casually designed shoe. Um, I think that Nike hit it like straight on the head that this was the idea that book, that Devin Booker wanted to have the most casual shoe out there that was also a basketball shoe, or we'll say it's a basketball shoe that happens to be a casual shoe or vice versa, depending on perspective. <laughs> they did exactly that with this shoe. Colorways, I think that they did some outstanding colorways. There's still colorways coming out that are really strong to me. This Haven colorway is the best colorway for me, as it is the most functional, but I can say, I can say, that there are colorways that others might rank higher than this and then I, I i couldn't possibly argue that just because i think the colorways were that strong now the next category is the putting in work portion okay devin booker all right we've known over the past couple of years to be probably one of the better guards in the league an up-and-coming star or yeah, we can call him superstar at this juncture, but what killed this shoe was his performance in the playoffs. I think that that was an opportunity for him with his Phoenix Suns to not only show and prove and show the team that they had been a season ago, um, but to propel this shoe to be like a top signature of its time. Like truly, just based off of performance alone. It's one thing to have a dope design, dope colorways, but the work you put in, is how you get people to actually build up a collection of your shoe, okay? And I think that everything's, everything about the shoe was strong when it comes to putting a collection for the silhouette together for a sneakerhead, right? But he didn't do his part. He didn't do his part, and that's why he's number three on the list, okay? Devin Booker, Nike Book One, didn't do his part. One last thing that was great about it is that it still fell into that affordable price point, retailing at $140. So affordability, style, colorway, frequency of sightings, it hit the nail on the head. But when it comes to basketball signatures, and remember, my credentials are solidified. I'm a basketball, wearing casual i'm a basketball cat basketball signature casual wearer 
okay? <laughs> so the only thing missing was the work he put in while wearing this shoe. If he had done more, you, you would have more than the Haven collected from me and from others that have bought at least one colorway. We would have went crazy with this shoe. And I'll speak for myself, I would have had at least at least one or two other colorways, so. But strong shoe is number three. Number two has some folks real surprised and excited at the same time, okay? That would be the Sabrina 2, okay? Now, Nike took it back with the marketing, the strong marketing campaign. I thought they nailed it on the head with presenting the world with the Sabrina 2 at a time, at the perfect time, where everybody was looking and watching women's basketball, okay? The timing couldn't have been perfect to go along with the creativity of the marketing ads, okay? I just wanna to touch on that straight out the gate, okay? So therefore, people who weren't checking for the Sabrinas were by default checking for the Sabrinas. Um, people who would have never purchased, purchased. And people who didn't purchase were even impressed by them. For a signature shoe from a whim woman, and both men and women were excited about it, a big deal, a big deal. And that's why the Sabrina 2 is coming in at number two, okay? So, derivative. Some might say, or I would, I would say, if the Kobe and the KD had a baby, you have the Sabrina 2, okay? An awesome combination, iconic silhouettes, okay? Frequency of sightings. NBA and WNBA players have been wearing these heavy, okay? For the NBA playoffs, I saw multiple NBA players rocking this shoe, different colorways to go with team themes, right? I would say when it comes to the colorways, uh, the Sabrina didn't necessarily go based off of like holidays or um, any sort of calendar-based, program-based things. It was specific to team colorways and objects. So like mirror, right? There, were, there was a mirror colorway, right? And then there um, was also an Oregon colorway. There was the Team USA colorway. That were PEs, unfortunately, but that just goes to show they, they stayed specific to sports programming colorways. Um, and I think that that's a part of why this shoe has been successful as well, just because multiple sports organizations can go ahead and rock the Sabrina, not only for the silhouette, but the colorway. Putting in work, okay? As we speak right now, literally at this moment, is halftime <laughs> of the um, Lynx versus Liberty WNBA Finals game, okay? Of which she's wearing a colorway of this shoe. Okay, of which the Liberty, the Liberty team, who I've said this to other people already, this season's New York Liberty team is the best team in 27 years. And that's the life cycle of the WNBA. And I've seen some solid teams in New York. This is the best one, okay? And Sabrina is a huge part of that. She's only been in the league for, for a short period of time, okay? She's only been in the league for a short period of time. This is the season where she's finally come into. She's had the skill set. Now it's being on the big stage and doing what she does best and understanding where she contributes. She's putting in work and that helps propel this shoe where I have it at, which is number two, okay? This is the number two best basketball signature of 2024. You can argue with your mama, but it's no lower than that, okay? That's just how great this shoe has been from a visibility perspective, from an execution perspective, and just watching the athlete do work. And we're talking about a price point of $130 retail. So it also falls into that affordable retail price to have one of the best shoes in the basketball space, okay? Sabrina 2 at number two, hands down. Okay, number one, I think we will all agree with number one. One of the earlier pairs I showed y'all made room for this shoe. And the athlete took it to the next level. 
the Adidas AE1. We don't have to talk about derivative with this shoe, okay? Because it would be a violation to this channel. If you've been around in the sneaker community, at least for the last, I'll give you the last five years, okay? You know, just based off this toe box, you, you 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 know the derivative of this shoe, okay? So we don't have to we don't have to continue to um, expound on that. We'll just go to the next qualifier: frequency of sightings. Also, a frequent NBA and WNBA shoe that we've seen multiple players rocking. Listen, the lows took it to another level though. I feel like I've seen a lot more other athletes rocking the lows ever since they debuted in the playoffs uh, this past season. Colorways, there are multiple colorways and I don't even have all of the colorways that I want from this shoe. There are colorways in the highs and I, ha I have the best colorway in the low couple colorways in the highs I still want, then that'll complete it for me. But the fact that I want more than this one lets you know where this shoe stands. This shoe stands at the top for a reason, okay? Putting in work. Was it not that young man that, uh, that beat the Denver Nuggets to face the Boston Celtics in the finals? <laughs> What, did, what, did, was that not Anthony Edwards? Was it not Anthony Edwards that his performance in the playoffs had people wondering, was he Michael Jackson, or was he Michael Jordan's love child? Okay. When I tell you that visibility increased for Ant-Man, visibility cre increased for Ant-Man. Okay. I think those who watched basketball prior to this season, knew his skill set and knew his abilities and are not surprised with his performance but his ability to do that versus the greats the current greats on the biggest stage propelled this shoe to number one okay automatically what you do in a shoe makes a ton of difference i don't know about y'all but again my credentials allow me to say i'm not buying your shoe if you are not putting in work okay <laughs> <laughs> what is the point? It's just a buffer, and I don't really do buffers in my collection. I'm not a buffer collector. That, that's not who I am, especially with my basketball signatures, okay? So this is definitely not a buffer shoe. He definitely put in work and made a name for himself. Everybody's looking to see what he's going to do next season. And at a price point of $110 retail for the number one basketball signature of 2024 granted it's not a shoe you can necessarily always get when it comes out for retail but you're not going to pay a whole lot more right that's how affordable this shoe is there are people who haven't worn basketball shoes casually in ages or ever that bought this shoe and are now wearing a basketball shoe casually. <laughs> in fact, this shoe brought the conversation up this year about whether or not people were wearing basketball shoes casually anymore. That's just how popular this shoe had become and had people questioning themselves like, dang, I really want this shoe, but I don't wanna be that one wearing the basketball shoe casually. Like, that was a real conversation and again, for somebody like me, who has a high percentage of basketball sneakers in my collection, it was a no-brainer. I never stopped wearing basketball shoes casually, so this to me was a slam dunk, literally and figuratively. Shout out to Adidas for what they did with Ant-Man's first shoe. Don't know what the second one's going to be. They might fall off on design, but as long as he's putting in work, his signatures are gonna do well going forward. That's how I feel. Nonetheless, I'm sure you agree. Adidas AE1 is the number one basketball signature of 2024. Whether you agree or disagree with the top three basketball signatures of 2024, let me know in the comment section, man. Did y'all cop any of these, one or all of them? 
Um, are you still thinking about it? Like, let me know. But what I know for a fact is there were no basketball signatures that were topping these, okay? Whether it be different colorways than what I have, um, whether it be a high version, <laughs> like, it was something for everybody and um, all, most eyes were on these, okay? For 2024. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Again, the video was much overdue. You know, we're about to go into the new NBA season where the new signatures will begin and we're capping off the WNBA seasons where the current signatures are about to kind of reach their maturation period. So um, that's it. I just wanted to come in here and give y'all my top three basketball signatures of 2024. If y'all have other silhouettes y'all thinking would replace or swap out what I had, then again, feel free. We have plenty of solid silhouettes that came out and other brands. There were some other brands out there, but yeah, I'm looking forward to what the new season, the 2024-25 season will bring. Will it be as strong as 2024? What y'all think? Y'all think these manufacturers are coming with it? In the future, in the near future, I guess we'll see. Been another one from your girl Q to Queen. And uh, again, make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, royalty. <laughs>